is Newsmax TV. I'm Ashley Martella. We're pleased to be joined in our studio by Ted Baer. He is chairman of the Christian Film and Television Commission and publisher and editor-in-chief of Movie Guide. That's a website and bi-weekly journal that evaluates motion pictures on suitability for family viewing from a conservative Christian perspective. Mr. Baer also hosts nationally and internationally syndicated Movie Guide radio and television programs. Nice to have you with us, Ted. Oh, it's Welcome. great to be with you. Thank hey. you. Many critics accuse Hollywood of having an anti-Christian bias. Are you one of them? Well, Hollywood is a, is a vast organization, and you know very well that there are those people in Hollywood, like Sean Penn and others, who are very anti-Christian. But most of those are in the independent film world. Unfortunately, the independent film world took over the Academy Awards in 1991. But the major studios want to make money. So when we started doing our report to the entertainment industry, showing that movies with faith and values do better, patriotic movies do better, uh, there was only one uh, faith-based movie with a positive reference to Jesus. Most of them were a priest who was slashing and gashing something. Last year, or two years ago, it was 49%. I thought it would never go beyond 49% because that's about the percentage of the church-going audience. And I said, well, that's a vote at the box office. Now it's up to 60%. So we even have Secretariat with singing about uh, when Jesus walks. So it's quite incredible. One episode of the TV animated comedy series South Park depicted the Islamic prophet Muhammad as a mascot bear. Now, there were threats to Comedy Central as there were to the creators of South Park, and eventually censorship of the character happened. Now, there are no such threats against South Park when the program satirizes Christians. Why do you think there's a double standard there? Well, they not only satirize Christians, they attack Jesus Christ. They blaspheme yes. the person of Christ in a, in a much more direct way than portraying him in a teddy bear costume. They do him uh, with blood, with guts, with uh, horrible things. And uh, television works differently than movies. We have, to, we have to distinguish between the two. Television has drifted further and further to the left, and movies have drifted in the other direction. Why? Because movies are a direct vote at the box office. So if everybody comes out and votes for Voyage of the Dawn Treader or Passion of the Christ or whatever the latest good movie is, they'll do well. And the big red state America does make that vote. However, in television, the, the uh, producers are insulated by the, uh, by the ad agencies, which are out of New York, where you and I come from. <laughs> I did The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe on CBS television. We had uh, uh, 39 million uh, viewers. We won an Emmy Award. I went back to the ad agency, and I said, well, let's do the next one in the Chronicles of Narnia. They said, well, we won. I mean, 39 million viewers, if you got that for anybody, you'd be very happy. And they said, no, it doesn't fit our demographics. You know, so in television, a, a friend of mine who runs a network, he said he spent the, the day that Procter & Gamble releases all of its reports, has a meeting out in Hollywood showing that good television, you know, people want it. They said that there are more people that want it than ever before. That afternoon, the agencies got up and said, we're going to redefine the family. We don't care what people want. So television is really a different uh, animal entirely. And I'm proud of Newsmax because you take on these issues in such a powerful way. You've been critical of the popular Twilight movies, and in 2010, the third installment, Eclipse, made $300 million in the U.S. You say the series is spiritually confusing. Why so? Well, the series is based on an occult premise, and of course, the second movie She's uh, considering selling her virginity in order to, uh, <laughs> and her soul. She says she realizes that it's her soul because he says, well, you're going to, if you become a vampire, you lose your soul for a one night sex stand. I mean, this is not a message you want. I've got a daughter and my son is sitting in the studio here. I don't want them to have the message that just for a one night stand, they should sell their soul. Conversely, what are the most successful, the biggest box office draws that fall into your category of family-oriented and Christian-friendly movies in 2010 or even maybe early 2011? What are the biggest yes. ones that fell into the category? Oh, the Toy Story 3, which was just terrific. Uh, uh, Shrek Forever After, which was the most pro-heterosexual movie. It was It's a Wonderful Life in an animated form. Uh, despicable Me, about a guy, I guess like any of us, who's despicable. Three little girls pray for him, and his life is transformed. All of those movies that did extremely well, when Despicable Me came out, all the rest of the pr critics said, oh, this isn't going to do well. It just exploded at the box office. 
You have this thing called the Epiphany Prizes. You're going to award $100,000 for the most inspiring movie, $100,000 for the most inspiring TV program. First, where does the money come from? And second, what are the criteria for getting an award, receiving well, it? The John Templeton Foundation has been giving us the money for these prizes since the mid-90s, and the prizes have been very instrumental. We had the head of United Artists come two years ago, and he made the brilliant statement, everybody likes to receive an award. <laughs> In Hollywood, awards sell tickets, so they're happy about that. Uh, but more than that, we encourage movies with strong Christian faith and values, and there have been more of them. As I said, when we started, there was one movie with strong Christian values. Last year, it was up to 60% of the films, and it seems like it's going to keep growing. Ted, if people want to find out more about you, your mm -hmm. websites, or the best way to promote Christian values and entertainment, where can they go? Go to movieguide.org, movieguide.org, and come to our gala on February 18th. We'd love to have you. I'd love to have you there. Well, we appreciate having you with us here, Ted. Thanks so much. Good You're luck. Welcome. God bless. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.